Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Hof Bergman. So, in the last episode, I bought a slurry spreader in the sale. Let's just check the sale again today. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I bought a slurry spreader in the sale. We need to go pick it up, and we need to get some slurry spread onto the... Uh, what will be the potato field, and what will be the oat field. I've also got a bit of animal care to do today. I'll muck out the um, muck out the cows. Although it doesn't look too bad in there. It looks all right at the moment. We've got two thousand four hundred liters of milk. That I would like to take up to make into UHT milk. First things first. We need to go and get our slurry spreader. This is a noisy tractor. No, I don't want to take the milk to go get UHT milk, do I? We've already done that. In fact, it's December. When do we want to sell the UHT milk? Uh, when do we want to sell the UHT milk? It was January. Ah, uh, yes, we've got January for quite a few products, haven't we? No, what I want to do with that milk that we've got now is to make some more cheese, I think. Because cheese is definitely making us money. Some lights on. This is winter after all, and it's still early in the morning. Right, I will see you when we're back at the farm with the slurry spreader. Well, I've just picked it up, and it's actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I didn't realise we could get a slurry spreader that was that small. Uh, and I hope we don't need anything extra on the back to be able to spread it, because that doesn't look like a, a spreading hole. It looks like just an emptying hole. But we'll see. If we do, we can probably modify it in our in our garage on our farm. We'll find out in a bit. But yeah, we're going to need to get some uh, get some slurry onto the potato field there, and onto the oat field, or what will be the oat field up the top there. And then that will need to be cultivated over the next few months before we get the oats in in. Uh, I want to say March. But yeah. Definitely need oats for um, for the flour. That's the plan. Right, where do I get the slurry out of the cows? I think that's around the back, actually. Yep. Over here, I remember now. Here's the slurry pit. It's filling up nicely. There we go. So let's get over and try and cover as much of the potato field as possible to start with. I, I Fully anticipating that we're going to be using an entire tank in hardly any time at all. Oops, I should have looked. Yeah, fully anticipating that, that this tank won't take um, 
any time at all to empty but we shall see I'm not too fussed about the grass I'm going to sort of leave the grass to, to its own devices oh I need to unfold it first sorry that's unfolded here we go that is covering quite quite well actually and uh Yeah, it's not using it too fast either. Oh, that's alright. Right, I'll get on and do this. I don't know how many loads we're going to need. Definitely going to need a lot of loads for the, uh, the oak field. But, uh, yeah. 55% on one run down here, that's not too bad. So, we'll go fill up after doing the second run up here. Right, I'll get on and we'll get this done. So I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a worker off to do the rest of this field. But I need to change the options in here so that workers re refill flurry from the cow shed. So, once I've finished the headland, I can set the worker off and they'll just be taking slurry from the cow shed. Once the cow shed's empty, we can take the little bit that's in the pig shed. Because there isn't a lot. I'm just hoping this will get me around the rest of the headland. It should do. Let's see why not. useful to have some sort of track through here but never mind not sure why some of the ground is is getting slurried and some isn't I mean it's getting nitrogen improvements and some isn't it's a bit odd but it looks patchy on the map I'm not really sure why that is I'm sure we'll catch it all when we uh, when we spray it anyway after we've planted it but uh, it's still not ideal. Right, so we can shut that off there. Yeah, and I've put I've I've set the it to the worker user the slurry from the cow shed. And I've also set when so for when we get a manure spreader I've set it so that the, the workers use the slurry from the manure pit so I need to keep that up topped up with everything else but in the meantime yeah there we go so slurry isn't going down money isn't going down which means they're using it from the cow shed and just to confirm that have a look in here that should update and go down slowly of course it might not. Let's have a look. Come back on. Nope, still not. Okay, so. Huh. 
thought it might be using the pig shed, that's weird. Because that was more than 167 before, I'm sure it was. I'm sure I set it to the cow shed. Right, let's just watch this for a second. Yeah, it's using the pig slurry. And there you go, it's all out. But I put cow shed. I wonder then if I put pigsty, it'll start to use the cow shed one. Oh, well, that's a pain. So, turns out, Hoff Bergman's good and set up to use the pig's slurry, but not the cow slurry. Well, we'll just have to, uh, unfortunately, we'll just have to refill it manually. Which is a bit of a pain. I'm sure there's an XML file I can change somewhere, but... Uh, I don't want to do that. In the meantime, that's actually looking pretty good. Although, already empty. Fantastic. So, <laughs> we'll go and fill it up. What I could do with this is a bigger tanker just to transport it over here, but... There's not an awful lot left anyway. There's another four tank fills. It would have been useful if we could use it straight from the cowshed, but it doesn't appear that we can. Alright, well, if that's the case, I'm not going to bother with the worker. I will go into another time lapse and we'll get as much slurry as we have put onto the field. So, with only 333 litres left into the, in the slurry pit, this will be the last run. Definitely not going to get the whole of the field done, but we will be able to get it done before we cultivate it. It's only going to take one more load after this, I reckon. And then what we need to do after this is to make a TMR feed mix up for the cows uh, where did I get to? It's up here. Uh, yes, make a TMR feed mix up for the cows and clear out the manure and move the milk over because the milk needs to go into our micro dairy I'm going to put it all in to make cheese, I think. It just does... It is a little bit easier to make cheese than it is to make butter. I don't know. I might do half and half. I might do half cheese, half butter. We are going to be 
quite close to finishing this field, but just not quite. Second to last run down. If we use only 25%, we could get the field done, but it's going to be tight. Look at that, 26% left. One run across the field. Come on. Messing about with the gears, I'm not going to make it across. Two, one... Oh, look at that! That was the measured amount. I still don't know why there's patches of mist stuff over there, but... Um, that doesn't matter. It's uh, all sorted now. So we're going to put the, the slurry tanker around the back. As I get more pigs, they'll start to produce more slurry and more manure as well. But for now, actually, this can go in this shed here. Probably over to one side, not in the middle. Looks lost in the shed, doesn't it? Right, that'll do. Lovely. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm really pleased with that slurry spreader. It's really good. Right then, what we need to do now is do a proper feed mixture, our first TMR mix for the cows. They are producing a lot of milk and I want them to produce a lot more. So, what tip side are we on here? Oh, that's the wrong button. What tip side? Left. Good, that's what we want to be on. Right, let's fire up the mixer. And then we need need this. Uh, I think I want the help menu on so that I can see the mix as it's going in. There we go. So we have fermented silage now. Which is awesome. And this this thing can pick up 1,762 litres of silage. So we'll get that in. Then we'll get some hay in and we'll get some straw in. And we'll see how the mix is going. Don't appear to be able to see from there. Yeah, so we need a little bit of straw. And we need some hay. But I need my bale spike, which is just there. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing over there my fingers not as accurate as they once were so 
need to figure out this mix. Um, straw, we're going to have one bale. Which I think will be too much as well. Five thousand liters. Yes, that will be far too much for the mix. So we want to put about two thousand liters in to start with. I think. Wait till that goes down to three. That will do nicely for now, and then we need to get some hay. No point in having that on if it's not going to tell me. We'll do a couple of mixes, so that can stay there. Oh, that's if the cows will take a couple of mixes. I'm not convinced they will. But we'll see. Probably ought to bring a couple of hay bales over. Just jump out and get it, uh, get them spawned. So, yeah, hundred. There's six thousand liters each. So two should be fine. And I think it was suggesting we have about ten left, but it looks like more than ten in the pile. But uh, I've been wrong before. Now I think that I could probably take about 4,000 litres out of one of these bales to put in there. Let's see how it goes. We'll put 4,000 litres in and then we'll have a look at the mix. A little bit over 4,000. Right, let's have a quick look. Okay, yeah, so we've got plenty of hay. We need to put some more silage in. So 4,000 litres is definitely enough of that. Now I need to get my silage fork back on and get another load of silage. So this is a bit of a learning exercise, and it's going to be two fork loads of silage, maybe three fork loads of silage, 400 litres, the 4,000 litres of hay, and potentially a little bit more straw, we'll see. Quite a decent capacity in this uh, in this mixer. I might only need to make one mix every now and then for the cows because they don't not eating a huge amount. Let's have a look. Oh, crash! Right, how's that evened us up? Okay, yep, yeah, that's not too bad. There's still 20% free, so I could put another load, fork load of silage in there. And then top the rest up with straw. Not sure how long this silage is going to last for, to be perfectly honest, but. Uh because we haven't got a huge amount. Right. 
Right then. Come on, I'm stuck. Okay. Yep. Top the rest up with straw. And that'll all be good. Be a decent mix for our cows. It's not going to take the rest of the straw bale. Because I only put 2,000 litres in it. I think it's a four th or 5,000 litre bale, wasn't it? So it'll just take whatever it takes. And then we'll put the rest out. It's probably 2,500 actually. That would be perfect because you could use one bale to every two mixes. Yep. Roughly one bale to every two mixes. So that's brilliant. So I know that I can just chuck that whole bale in next time. Three bales of silage. And then the rest of hay. Alright. Let's leave that there for now because... If I need to make another mix, I can use that. If not, I'll have to put it away somewhere. Probably in that shed with the mixer. Right. Here we go. Unload total mix ration. Oh, the cows are going nuts for it. Look at that. Wonder how much room they've got in there. Ah, we're full. Well then. That mixing wagon can stay there. Well, I'll put those bales away later. Off camera, because you don't need to see boring stuff like that. What we need to do now is to fill this tanker with milk and take it over to... Our miniature dairy. Open that and let's fill it up. There we go, 2,600 litres. I've no idea how much I can actually fit into the cheese making facility. But we'll find out in a minute whether it all goes in or not. Right, well that's full. I believe that we can also fill this from the tanker. And if so, we can do butter with some more of it as well. Right, if I leave that there, and I go around the back. Yes, that's gone into the tank. Good. Yes, that's what we wanted. So we might as well do both cheese and butter. All right, let's take the lid off. And get it filled up. I don't know how much it's going to take. I don't think it takes all of it. Well, then again, it might do. It does. Well, let's check out the production. See if we can add any more in. Butter drum. Nope, 500 is limit. So that's ideal. Right, better put the lid back on there. Oh. Then we can start that working. And then we can also start this working. Activate that. Super. Oh, already got some butter. Right. The barrel can go back over here. There we are. Close that door to keep it cool. 
How much? No moss bag capacity for milk. Okay. So, the rest of this can uh, sit in the tanker until we've got some more to, to put in. Put it back into the cow shed. So in January we're going to be going and selling some products. Uh, right then, so... This is the old reversing problem that I have. Looks like it's not got any better. In fact, it's got markedly worse. Fabulous. <laughs> this is definitely going badly. Oh, oh, this is a, a trajectory now that we could probably cope with. Although I do need to get out and empty the manure out of there. Well, that's good enough. We can do the manure from the other end. So, for now, pop this tractor away. That'll do nicely. Uh, well, I'll, I'll put these bales away first, given that they're partly used. and put them in the back over here and then when we need them for the mixer they are here oh sorry Ferguson oops well, that went badly. Right then. Then the the name of the game now is poop extraction. can fit through here, that's fine. Right then. Excuse me, calf. I'm cleaning up all your poop. Little poop goes a long way, actually. If we keep the manure pit, manure pit topped up from all the animals, there'll be absolutely plenty to spread on the grass fields once they're cut. Which will be ideal. Get the bit that we missed down here. Uh, 
There we go, full again. Well, they do poop well, don't they? I think that's what cows are for. But they're our biggest poopers at the moment. Oh dear. Well, that was unfortunate. Should be able to get the rest of this in one go. I hope. Oh dear. We didn't. Well, I'll leave that lump at the end there. And we'll come back next time we need to uh, pick it up. Okay, so that was um, that was good. I don't think there's anything else that we need to do today. In the next episode, have I got anything in here? Actually, don't think I have. Have I? No, there's nothing in there. So in the next episode, we'll have things to sell. We need to sell the bread that's over at the bakery. We'll need to sell the cheese, the butter. Uh, UHT milk, we've got all packaged up. That's going to need to go in January as well. And we're going to be keeping an eye on the used machinery. Because I would love, I'd love to get a bigger tractor. But at the same time, we need a manure spreader. We need... Probably a bigger trailer, although this one's probably okay for now. And... Yeah, we need plenty. We also need a... A methane tanker, but I think I'll... I'll rent that. I think I'll lease the methane tanker. It shouldn't be a huge daily fee, I hope. So, um... Yeah, that'll do us for today, so thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.